Well, the Conservative peer, Lord Onslow, now joins us from Westminster. Thanks very much indeed. Um, Lord Onslow, you're quoted as saying that you hope the government would not get, and I quote, the rotten, rotten, stinking bill through. What's your opinion on it now? It's still that description. It stinks a little less. It's a little less rotten. Why? Because of the concessions that the government has made right from the beginning. It's also given us a sunset clause in all but name. Now, the unfortunate thing about this was that had the government given those concessions a lot earlier, which it was forced to make by, I would suggest, the House of Lords, then none of us would have had to stay up all night. The government would have not been looked so stubborn and a lot of face would have been saved and that would have been better for everybody concerned. Still a lot of confusion in some respects. We had uh, Dr John Reid on a little earlier saying, actually, it's not a sunset clause. And we have Michael Howard saying, well, it's a sunset clause in all but name. Still a little confusion over this one. If it quacks like a duck, swims like a duck, and looks like a duck, it is a duck. The only thing is the government's duck has got one less web foot than what we were wanting, and we're quite happy for a, la a lameish duck rather than no duck at all. Were you surprised at the amount of effort and strong feeling that uh, came out over the past 24 hours on this one? No, I wasn't. Because all along I've known that, especially in our house, there has been an immense attachment to the liberties, traditions, and serious things like Magna Carta, habeas corpus, which we all hold so dear. And we were prepared. I think, to look at it in a slightly longer way than some members of the House of Commons. There were, of course, marked exceptions in the House of Commons, and I think you can say that this was Parliament behaving at its absolute best. The House of Commons kicked off the revolt, and the Lords took it up and ran with it. And eventually, the government was forced to change its mind. Now, that is actually what Parliaments are for, and governments should learn on occasions to do what Parliament asks them to do. Some people might look at this and say, look, this Terrorism Act, the current Terrorism Act, runs out on, uh, at the weekend on Sunday. This was a, absolutely an important issue, a very, very serious issue. Didn't it make Parliament look rather childish and, and, and demean it, in a way, with what was going on over the past 24 hours? Well, did you think that? I'm asking for your opinion, Lord No, Alton. you said, didn't I think? And the answer is, no, I don't. I think it actually enhanced Parliament one enormous amount. Parliament came out of this better and was doing what parliaments are supposed to do, which is hold executives to account. At the moment, we don't do it nearly enough. Okay. Lord Onslow, thanks very much indeed.